I was fortunate enough to spend Christmas with all three of my children in California. Unfortunately, Doug could not come with me this time, but I know he is always with me in spirit. So my kids and I had a wonderful time, but now I'm back on the Cape, and I'm just doing those regular chores that one does after travel. You know, when you come home and you have loads of laundry to do and you have to stock your fridge again, all those chores to get the household back in order. The weather here on the Cape is so different than California. On Christmas Day, my kids and I went to the beach and the temperature was 78 degrees. We had a lovely time but I have to say it was a little odd for it to be so warm on Christmas Day. Now here on the Cape, it's very cold. There's snow on the ground and it's in the high 20s. But I don't mind. I like going back and forth and I feel very fortunate that at this point in my caregiving journey, I am still able to travel because I know down the road it may not be as easy for me to get away. And because I spent Christmas with my kids and not here on the Cape with Doug, we have yet to celebrate our own Christmas. So it was nice to come home and receive all the Christmas cards and open them and just slowly look at them one by one and take it all in. the beauty of friendships that we have, the beautiful cards. When I was gone, all of my bananas went bad. So instead of throwing them out, I decided to make a bunch of banana bread and banana muffins. Doug really likes banana bread, so it'll be nice to have this all prepared for him. While I was in California, Doug took care of the home and took care of Morris, our Portuguese water dog. Doug is still quite self-sufficient. He still works, he's not yet retired. And with his job, he walks a tremendous amount, about three to five miles every day, which is hard for him, but it's also a blessing because I'm convinced it's helping with his Parkinson's. After traveling it always takes a minute to get your bearings and get organized again so I did take this one day off to catch up on some of my household chores there have been times in the past when I've traveled and I've gotten home on a trip and I can feel a little bit overwhelmed as a caregiver behind on my work behind on taking care of Doug and his needs so I've learned to really just take one day to not think about anything but reorganizing my life. It helps to center my thoughts. And when I do this, I find I have much less anxiety as a caregiver moving forward. I know as a caregiver, it's very important to be mindful of my own emotions and to take care of my own physical and mental health. Because as much as I want to take good care of Doug, I know that I cannot do that unless I am full and healthy and well. So my chores are done and my laundry is folded and I had such a wonderful time in California. But now I think I'm going to sit back, have a nice cup of tea, and a slice or two of this fresh banana bread. Until next time, bye for now.